Right. Well, we're back. Uh, we obviously me and Saunders, and we have got the one and only one lonely farm, Mr. Wes Pandy. Yes. You see. Yeah. Um, this, this is all sounding a bit <coughs> radio broadcast. And hey, now, Mr. Wes Pandy. We are sponsored by Rolla Cola. <laughs> <laughs> out of business for 22 years <laughs> 23 years now yeah. <laughs> anyway no welcome back everybody uh happy new year to all of you uh both young and old so right. those that haven't uh, been here before <coughs> uh so yeah look i think it's been enough out and about to know that uh wes has joined us over here in the uk i went and saw wes back end of last year yeah. and um wes said you know what i'm going to come to lama this year and so he's made the pilgrimage over and he's here so yeah. right we look i don't know if there's any secret we know you love the uk wes so you're secretly a brit at heart you me? are aren't you? you're a secret brit yeah. i could be yeah i could be no i do I, I like england i like it a lot the roundabouts are my favorite well going around the wrong way for you i suppose well i haven't got well i did i actually went around one wrong way <laughs> in the middle of the town and some woman came up to me and then she realized oh you're not from around here mm, we'll, let you, we'll let you slide we'll let you off and i was like well you can't do anything about it anyway <laughs> so what did you think of lama uh different uh very different yeah lama mm, what is way? Uh, everything's smaller <coughs> the, well, as in the, the size of equipment is the smaller? size of the equipment and just some of the theories i did talk to a guy on that was selling a corn planter and he was talking about his high-speed corn planter, which they're using air to force the seed into the trench. Yeah. And I had said something about it bouncing out, and you know, I don't know. It's just a different way of doing things. But it's just a. He said, "Yeah, this is a huge corn planter. I think it was eight rows for here." You know. Well, that's still not. A, that's not a huge yeah, one, right? Really, I is it? He said it was big. And I was like, "Oh, not really." really I mean, no. I've seen sixty-four row corn planters. That's big. Yeah, but the thing is, again, which we just clarify, you call corn. You, we, we would call what maize. maize. Yeah. Yep. So, but I mean, I've seen twelve row maize, eighteen yeah, yeah, yeah. row maize planters. Yeah, we you know? do. So, not up to your sixty-four rows and that, but we do. You know, eight row is still small. Nice. This one. Yeah. yeah. What, what was that for? Like game cover? Yeah, it must <laughs> be. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just, but, but anyway, we were talking about that, but. The grain dryers are different. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm looking at a grain dryer, and he said it was said that it was a hundred tons an hour. I thought, well, I don't know how the hell you'd force a hundred tons an hour through that thing, but I don't know. What is your? Because I was there when you were dry, drying, wasn't right? It? So what? What does your uh, unit do? Then? Well, we can do as much as 1,100 bushel an hour if you know, of corn if it's below 18 percent that's so okay again, yeah, yeah. yeah just because it's, it's bushel. yeah bushels of time all right a yeah. bushel is 56 pounds okay of corn of or corn, maize of maize corn yeah. right 56 pounds is a bushel which is basically a bag of spuds yeah 25k roughly yeah, 25k yeah, yeah, right. so if i uh, <coughs> try to work out how many bushels in a ton approximately of maize in that case in which case it would be uh four to the hundred yeah uh, 40 so 40 bushels yeah, would be yeah. about a ton yeah would that be right? Right. Yeah. yeah Roughly. Probably. Yeah. yeah, so yeah so. And you said how many? Eleven hundred. So, um, that's that's some good going. Yeah. So forty into eleven hundred. If you said, they were, they, yeah, they were saying they were putting a hundred ton a, an hour. Yeah. Through. Yeah. Okay. But they look to me like the old coffee grinder ones that we had. They're okay. Bat, they would run a batch. Yes, that's right. They was run a batch. Yeah. 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 Like batch. Constant flow no. sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Ours were mine is what you would consider a continuous batch. It's a single fan. So it only heats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it uh, just dribbles through and, it, and it's, as it goes through. Well, it's it's long. Yeah. And it's kind of in a shape of a diamond. So the center of this thing is hollow. Yeah. And then there's two, uh, two like, well, there's two, uh, you know, panels. Yeah. So the grain goes down through these panels on an angle. Oh, straight, I see. And then, and then it comes, comes, back, comes down. Right? And comes in the back, bottom, right? yeah. there's these metering wheels. Yep. Yeah. That continually throw it into the the auger, oh, okay. the discharge auger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, theirs looked like that they were a, like a coffee grinder or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, they yeah. they actually ran it down. The heat went up the center. They yeah. ran it down the sides That's of this right. thing. Yeah, and those then mobile ones. Keeps you know the ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then there yeah. was a, a leg, ele a bucket That's elevator, it. went to the top and shot it back in. Yeah, but. I don't know, they're just very different. So, mm. but this is the thing, we you know we, we do everything the same as you guys in a totally different way. We, we do. Don't yeah. we? That's, that's yeah. basically it, isn't yeah. it? Right. You're, just, you're, more, you're more tillage. 
yeah. based, you know, plowing, yeah. plowing, like mold board plowing. Yeah. I don't know, is that what you call it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So mold board plowing and uh, over there, nobody disc, mold board plows. Disc, disc plow, don't they, or disc harrow, don't yeah. they? You know, well, they'll run what they call, you know, if you, depending on where you're at, whether they call it a digger or a disc harrow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mostly chisel plow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you run yeah. a chisel plow and then they come back over it with a finishing tool, whether it's a land level yeah, yeah. or, or a disc harrow or mm. even the vertical tillage machine. But this is where you differ. Oh, this I'm is different. where you differ yeah. because I've seen your operation and yeah you obviously as you said you got different things but you do you've seen and you've taken to a lot of this uh, British and European ways because you've imported stuff haven't yeah, you exactly, yeah. and right. the methods you're using now like I saw you and Teresa when I came over that's quite a British way of doing things you know what I mean or a European way of doing you you mm. seem to keep ahead of that curve all the while you know what I mean well I've said this on on my channel there's a lot of farmers that have done the same thing. All right, so back up a little bit. What made you money five years ago may not make you money tomorrow. That's right. And speed is key now, because when I was a kid, you went out and you, you plowed a field. Yeah. You plowed yeah. 25 acres, if you're lucky, in a day. Yeah. Yeah. So you go out and you plow 25 acres, yeah. and then you let it set for a few days, and then you come back and with a disc arrow and you work it down or work it up, depending on which part of the country you're in. Yeah, it's true. Same yeah. thing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing here. Do you we work in, it up. Do you go out west? You work it down. Do you go in the bottom of the field or at the oh, top? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, but today, you wouldn't even look at a mold board plow. No. It's almost impossible to find parts for them mm -hmm. uh, because nobody stocks them because nobody does it anymore. So you go with the chisel plows. Yep. Uh, deep ripping. I mm -hmm. bought a ripper to break up hard pan. It brought up too many rocks. I've already sold the. I've already sold the ripper. Yeah. yeah. So I really wanted to go back into no till, just because of the speed. Um, and what I learned about what I did with no till this year is not what I'm going to be doing next year. So I purchased the vertical tillage machine. That's right. Yeah. And the whole point in the vertical tillage machine isn't to till anything. It's just to cut a small slot, just a slot, an inch and a half to two inches deep, yeah. and chew up whatever cover crop that I've got, and then the basket rollers on the back will lay that flat. I call it my mechanical cow. Yeah. So what we're sim simulating is a herd of cows, unfortunately without the urine and the manure, because yeah, we're, yeah. we're not getting it. Yeah. But what I'm doing is I'm triggering a response from the, the cover crop to exude the sugars and the carbohydrates into the soil Stop breaking down to, and make release in that. Well what it's doing is it's releasing the sugars and carbohydrates to recover the cover crop. Yeah. Like hey, uh, there's a lot of activity in the soil that it's just it's not even there. It, it needs to be spurred. It will release nutrients, mm. nit you know, what not nitrogen, but the other elements yes. that yeah, that yeah. hurt plant needs. And then I plant the cash crop. Three days after that I plant the cash crop yeah, yeah. into that. So the cash crop goes in, it sprouts rather quickly because all the microbes and the fungus and everything's working together to recover the, that, the cover that, crop. Oh, that, yeah. And it's, well, it's feeding that. It's yeah, right. it's feeding that and yeah. there's a response. <clears throat> so it should, in theory and reality, is that that new cash crop is going to absorb what is being fed to the, mm. to the cover crop that's damaged. And then three days after that, you terminate chemically terminate the cover crop yeah, yeah, yeah. and and that will allow the cash crop to come up so you you're so what, what are you in, putting the initially seed in? you're cutting back starter fertilizers yep. Yep. and even your your actual p and k yeah. not nitrogen nitrogen's a different story you gotta you gotta plant different plants uh different so you uh, just kick stuff you've got like a, a natural can of ether just to kick start give that a little boost right then you kill it off, that's enough, right. you've done your thing, right. and that just gives it, and you've put no, at this point, you've put no artificial inputs in. Then it costs you less, there will be. Crop there will be, but yeah, at, yeah, this yeah, point, yeah. at this point, right. you haven't, have you? No. Well, there's, I might have got my cart ahead of the horse a little bit. What I will be putting in when I plant my cash yeah. crop is my secret sauce. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. So the secret sauce, I'm not letting anybody know, I yeah. can tell you, and I can tell you yeah, what yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, but no, it's simple, it's sauce, available everywhere, but it feeds that microbiology. Yes. You, the whole thing to make 
this work right is to feed the microbiology. I will tell you that there will be liquid fish in it, okay. and there will be chelated calcium in it. Okay. And those those are your starter fertilizers, oh, yeah. and it's cheap. It's you yeah. can do it for yeah. under under ten dollars an acre. No, you put that in with the seed, right in yeah, the yeah. furrow. Um, yeah. Collectively, Wes, I mean, obviously you've got a large audience and whatever, but locally, uh, we'll stay locally for the minute. How have people taken this? Because I, I, do you know what? I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Because over here, if somebody said that about, I'm going down the min or no till route, I'm right, right and we're going to do this, we'd go, okay, all right, because it makes perfect sense. Mm. Perfect. Now, your side of the pond, how are people taking that? Are they just going, you're a fucking moon unit, or are they sort of saying, actually, this could be something good? Well, there are people that think it's great, and there's people that think my cheese has slid off my cracker. Yeah. My father says, you're nuts. Hey, what are you doing? Really? Yeah, what the yeah. hell's wrong with you? Yeah. So the no-till path. <clears throat> there's a right way to do no-till and the wrong way to do no-till. Anybody can go out and direct seed yeah, yeah. into the ground. But still, there is a preparation that you have to do in order to get your ground ready for that no-till. A lot of guys, and I, I see it here, just like I see it at home, they want that field to be as barren as this desk. Clean. It has to be clean. As a yeah. clean. No weeds, no grass, no nothing. You've got to plant into dirt. Well, planting green, if you've heard that term, mm -hmm. all right, so that's that's where I'm saying when you plant yeah. into that green cover, yeah. it's still supporting the microbiology of yeah. the soil. When you kill that very rapidly, your microbiology starts to die. Mm -hmm. So when you don't have the sugars, the exudates from the living roots that are in the ground, what's the first thing that bi bacteria has to do? It attacks the fungus. Well, mm -hmm. the fungus is what gives your soil the structure. Mm -hmm. So once it eats the fungus, then the soil structure starts to collapse. Once the soil st structure starts to collapse, you don't have any water infiltration, yeah. which is very important. Yeah. Uh, if because if you can't hold water, yeah. that's your organic matter. Yeah. For every percent of organic matter, it's twenty-seven thousand gallons of water. So if you got one percent organic matter, you can only absorb technically one inch of water. Really? That's it. So you keep going up. Ideally, you want five to seven percent organic matter, so it will hold that twenty-seven thousand gallons. It's is one inch of rainfall. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. If you have a downpour that's an inch and a half in 20 minutes, which we have had very rapidly, mm. it just runs off. What have you got? You've lost everything. Yeah, lost it, yeah. it, what it's doing is it's eroding. It's taking away your topsoil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no-till guys, they say, well, I've done the no-till. The no-till, it doesn't work because the ground gets hard. You're <clears> right. <throat> because you're starting with a clean, you're killing it. Yeah. Once you kill it. So in the fall, it starts, it gets towards fall. You've taken off your cash. Say you take off a weed crop. You start getting weeds and stuff coming up. It's like, well, uh, it's going to be fallow till next year. I'm going to put soybeans in, but I don't want all those weeds. Huh. Well, the weeds yeah. are actually a trigger yeah. from the environment. Mm -hmm. So soil loves to be covered. It naturally wants to be covered. There's nowhere in nature that soil is not covered, unless you're in a desert or a glacier came yeah. down and scraped it off. Flood yeah. waters will take yeah. it off. You know, even in desert. I tell you, because I've seen it, you, you suddenly look this shimmering haze of green, <coughs> and you've had a, sh uh, a, like a rainfall, because you get rain in the desert right. occasionally, and as soon as you do, guess what? Boom. From nowhere, from, where did that come from? Right. It hasn't rained for like two years, yeah. and it's a short green comes up. Yeah. You're not going to beat nature. It's the seed bank, and yeah. people, yeah, yeah. people want to fight the seed bank. So you go no-till, you get these weeds, they, weeds have one job, reproduce. Mm -hmm. And they do it really well. Mm -hmm. They if you if you hit them with certain weeds, you hit them with a glyphosate. They, they they'll just go into maturity real quick. Mm -hmm. They're just like okay, here's four million seeds, and we're gonna stick them out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, and those, so you stopped it. Well, a lot of guys are like, well, I can plow those under. Well, what you've done is you've plowed those weeds under, but you've plowed the weeds that were under back up again. Now you get a whole different bunch of weeds. That's right. So what are weeds? Weeds are a response to sick soil. So. The microbiology in the soil is like you and I. It gets to be 80 degrees outside. It's like, oh, it's hot. I don't want to be out here. Yeah. Right? It gets to 85, 90 degrees, and you're like, shit, where's the water? Yes. You know, I got to go to a pool or something, you know, cool off, find air conditioning. Well, the air conditioning is the weeds. Certain weeds germinate 
at certain temperatures. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when the soil gets, say, above 90 degrees, that'll trigger, uh, I believe, cocklebur. Right. It'll trigger mare's tail. It'll oh, trigger yeah. uh, ragweed. It'll trigger all these fast-growing, large-leaf canopying weeds yeah. to cover the soil. And why? Those weeds can be there for a thousand years. Yeah. Because the microbiology in the soil is like, hey, I'm gonna die. Yeah. If I don't get cover here, I'm gonna die. So it it ex it goes right for those that seed bank. Yeah. And it'll trigger and support those weeds. That's why weeds are so prolific in a cash crop. Because cash crop's barren ground. Yeah. And it wants to cover, so yeah, and it will Ooh. support the weed before it supports your cash crop. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. So Again, it's just it's, it's finding that balance, isn't it? And getting them bits to do work for you, mm. rather right. than just thinking I've just got to eradicate it all. Smash it, it all. Bits, like, yeah. 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 So when you do, when you do no-till, so you take wheat off. Well, what am I going to do? What am I going to put in after this wheat? Well, there are cover crops you could put. You could put tillage radishes. Those will burrow down into the ground. They'll yeah. go. They'll go thirty inches deep. So you get hard soil. Well, what that does is it leaves a nice big open hole with yeah. a skeletal yeah, yeah. remains after it freezes off. Now, I'm not sure about England, but in the United States, we have w winter kill, you know. So yeah, if you we get do a, get freeze, yeah, yeah. yeah, if we're, yeah, we're, we're lucky, but we do, yeah. Yeah, if you get a good hard freeze, yeah, yeah. And, yeah then yeah. it would kill those. But you put all these different species in the ground that will release tied up nutrients. It yep. will, it'll, it'll break up hard pans and things like that. So in the spring, when it comes... You know, when you get through and you've got your crimson clover that's growing, there's where you're going to get your nitrogen mm -hmm. from, your winter pea and of hairy course, vetch yeah. and all those yeah. things. You know, so that's where you're going to get your nitrogen and it will cover the ground and you can plant through that. So if you were going to do no-till, that's the route you would take. And of course you get the guys like, well, that's going to cost me $30 an acre. Well, uh... Crimson clover will give you <coughs> seventy they units of the nitrogen. Savings, does it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You get seventy units of nitrogen yeah. at a buck ten a unit. What yeah. the heck have you lost? Exactly. Right. Um, so you've seen some of the equipment and obviously at Lama that we have. Right. Um, was there anything there that you would have given the room in your uh, overhead locker? <laughs> would you have taken? <laughs> is there any yeah. piece of equipment you'd have taken back to the states? Because you, as I said, you've brought your you know British you spec John Deere's. Yeah. Right. You know you run a. What have you what the two John Deere's you mentioned? Seventy five thirty and eighty five thirty. Seventy yeah, five thirty. Yeah. See, they are a Marmite tractor because they had such a bad reputation at that time. With people love them now, though. Don't they? Yeah, but they they absolutely love head them. gasket problems. Yeah. They were one of the big ones with the head gasket. First gasket. ones. Yeah. But when they did iron it out, which is almost two lakes, they had the other series. Yeah. People loved them, didn't they? Mm. Absolutely. Loved them. You like that one? That's I love the seventy five. The seventy five thirty is just such a versatile track. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it didn't come to the United States until the last year of its run, which was yeah. two thousand eleven. Yeah. Mine is a late two thousand eight. Yeah. It was like ordered. It was ordered or delivered in December yeah. of two thousand eight. So yeah. You know, it's a two thousand eight. But yeah. No, so you, you've got that one, and what else have you got? You've got the. What was the other John Deere? The 8530. 8530. Yeah, yeah. And that's it's just a beast. big old slug. a lovely yeah. thing, isn't it? It is. That's her tractor. That's, yeah, she, that's right. She took yeah. it from me. Yeah, that's yeah. It. She's like, this is my tractor. I'm like, oh, yeah, you don't want the little one anymore. No. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the one, I mean, you've got, obviously got others there as well, haven't you? What, you've got loads of dates. But the one everybody loves is, is the... 4960. Uh, 4960. <laughs> as we said, over here was a 55. The same tractor. And then in the US, it was a 60 series. Got it. But... So you had that tractor, and that's where I think a lot of people discovered your channel, wasn't it? When I rebuilt it after it burned. It burned mm. out, and you yeah. rebuilt it, didn't you? Well, that was a problem with John Deere's, uh, the 4960s or 4955, and that came from Germany. I didn't buy that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I bought it in Germany and had it shipped over. The Germans were kind of tough on that tractor. Were they? Well, when I tore it down, you find blue RTV. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the yeah. front axle. Yeah. And I don't know what they did to that, but they did something to it. It was, yeah. it was blue. Uh, the, when I did the transmission, I had the transmission go out of it a few years later after the rebuild. Yeah. Which is kind of common for a burnt tractor. Mm. Uh, they're like, oh, yeah, the transmission is going to cause you a nightmare. I'm like, yeah, but they never even burnt the paint no. off of that. It just heated up, did it? Yeah. yeah I, you know, I think it had something to do with the oil. 
Okay. Yeah. To be honest with you, I think it's yeah, yeah, to do with the oil. Yeah. Now I changed the oil. Yep. You yeah. know, before I ran it. Oh, yeah, but, obviously, yeah. But it did. It delaminated a few of the clutch plates. Did it? Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's a 15 speed, so. But yes. it's the same power shift pack that was in the original 4020s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not. They, yeah. You know, people are like, oh, no, it's a 15 speed. I'm like, no. It's still the it's still that eight speed power shift pack. Yeah. Except they added a couple up a, That's right. in front of it yeah. there, so there's different packs. <clears throat> so, but I did replace that. But yeah, the forty nine sixty when that burned, that's when I bought the eighty one twenty, and I yeah. missed the forty nine sixty. That forty nine sixty would out pull that eighty one twenty. And yeah. was, you well, you missed it just for power, did you? The it, actual power. It just, of it. I, I don't know. It just seemed to float better. Yeah. It is a lighter tractor. Yeah. But I never got stuck with that forty nine sixty. But that eighty one twenty, it's like. Yeah. It's like I was always yeah. finding a mud hole with it. It was, it was <laughs> annoying. And there is a video that I have of pulling that thing out of the mud. We had, I think we had three or four tractors rigged up with snatch blocks and cables. And I, by the end of the video, I was about ready to just <laughs> yeah. burn it because I was upset. But, but no. The but that's the, that's the one. Isn't it? And I've seen it up, you know, right up close. Right. Uh, um, and it's, it's a lovely tractor, you know. Um, and there is still a lot, a lot of love for those SG2 cab deers mm-hmm. over here in the UK, but right. in the States, the money they make because they're simple, you know. Right. And that's the other thing is, all right, we, George and I discussed this before, but you know, over here, the thing is, it's, it's almost like a gotta keep up with the Joneses, I think, a lot of the time. If people actually looked <laughs> long and deep into the reasoning for why they're, you know, I've got to change this tractor, why? Well, them up the road have got the newer model and this, and you're like, really? In the U, I mean, US. 30 series deers, 40 series deers, are still mainline tractors. Yeah. You know, on, the why east, not? on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get out into the center of the country, Yeah, it's no different. It's, well, who's going oh, to oh, 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 he just got a new a 9R, you know, and the next thing, they got to get the 8RX, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, or whatever the heck they're getting. Them, yeah. Four yeah. and 10 or 8RX, yeah. that is the way it goes. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, but, that, you know. There's a lot of money being spent. A and, lot of money. Well, here's here's my thoughts on this. Um, do you want to make money or do you want to keep up with the neighbors? Yeah. Right. So, the neighbors could have a case. They could have a deer. They could have a fent. They could have a massey. They could have whatever they want. The end result is you're still selling corn for the same price. You're still selling soybeans for the same price. Mm. But these guys are taking tractors. There's nothing wrong with two, three thousand hour tractors that have ten thousand hours worth of reliable mm-hmm. life left in them. Yeah. And they're like. We're just going to send that off to the dealer, and I'm going to buy the newer model because I got nothing else better to do with my life. Mm, yeah. And then they, then they, at the end of the day, when the prices are good and the crop is good, they're, they're still sitting on top of the, you know, on top of the uh, sitting high on the hog. Mm. The reality is that those older tractors could still be doing the exact same job as mm-hmm. what it was designed to do. It's yeah. like buying a 24 row corn planter and having to have 400 horsepower to pull it. Yeah. Well, I don't need 400 horsepower to pull it. The biggest tractor of the day when that was built was my 4960. Yeah. That's what it was and that 4960 will pull it. You don't need a new tractor. There's just spilling money, unnecessary money. Well, I, I just don't see the point I mean, in it. They you were. want to put money in your pocket, don't you? Yeah. Or do you want to put mm. put your kids through college, not the dealership's Weren't kids? Weren't they something like 218 or 220 something, the, the 49 seat horsepower? <laughs> 202. <laughs> 202 horsepower. Right. And I yeah. think I think over here they because obviously we have SAE and, and mm. different the two thirds, yeah. I think well, well two twenty eight I think they yeah, could, yeah. but yeah, so two oh two would probably be the you know, the drawbar power or whatever. Right. Now so that two hundred horsepower and you look at them and people go, What a big old thing they are. Yeah. What's two hundred horsepower now? I ain't being funny. It's range, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. And that's what we're yeah. saying, that's just how things have changed, yeah. isn't it? Well look at the seventy five thirty. My seventy five thirty Turn it horsepower? It's turned up, it's like 230 horsepower. Yeah. yeah. You put it next to the 4960, it's, just, it's no. different. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But the 4960 is long. Yeah. It's bulky. It's got a presence, doesn't it? it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. It sits there, and then, you know, it's like, well, you get. I prefer the 7530 <coughs> now, the oh, yeah. older I get, yeah, because it's a comfort. nicer, yeah. more comfortable tractor. And of course, the brand new ones are way nicer, but that oh, yeah. 7530. That thing's just going to keep on doing the things it's been doing all. Can it still do the same job? And right. the old. It's going to make me money because yeah. 
it's paid for. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. If it goes wrong, on it. you can you fix can, it. You can sort right. Exactly, that's, that's the other thing. thing. Right. Yeah, well, yeah. I can fix just about anything. You know, I mean, I look, and that's another thing. We can go <coughs> into John Deere's right to repair. Yeah, yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah. It, it really is. If you know how to navigate the onboard computer of mm -hmm. those tractors, mm -hmm. they'll tell you what the problems are. Yes, that's right. Yes, they, that's they that's really right. will. Even yeah. the thirty, even the twenty series, yeah. the ten series. Yeah. You pull a fuse out, you click it over to diagnostic, and you play with the. I don't yeah, think it's so the. I think it's yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. windshield yeah, yeah. wiper or the or the, right. the, the oh, yeah, yeah. yeah the turn signal thing. Yeah. So you, right, you, right. you play with that, and then it'll go blink blink, and it'll give you this. It'll give you the codes that it's got, and then you go. Doc, you know, you go to the Google and you go, dit, 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 dit. Oh, yeah, hmm. yeah, speed sensors unplugged, <laughs> done. Yeah, and you fix it. The sensors in the computer part is what scares people. Now, I will tell you, when I pulled that sixty two ten R apart, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and I pulled that thing off of there, Ooh. I was like, <clears throat> man, there's a there is three controllers that sit on top of that transmission with a wire set of wiring harnesses. And they shoehorned that transmission, I'm telling you, if there was a quarter inch of room between those rails, yeah. there yeah, was a lot. Tight, is it? And there is a speed sensor in there that you can't do anything <clears throat> with unless you pull that transmission yeah. out. And I'm like, oh man, please God, don't break that thing when you're putting it back in. Yeah. But yeah, and I had to, you know, of course, John Deere is like, well, you have to have this special tool to hook to the transmission because you have to put it on a certain degree angle and then you have to put it on a gantry to roll it ahead as you pull it up. I was like, get the hell out of here. I went down to the tractor supply, bought two come-alongs, I'm like, <laughs> raised one of them up, then tilted it and brought it right out. Yeah. Yeah. Done, yeah. done. Pulled it out, tore it apart on the bench, realized, yeah, these are parts I can't buy. Yeah. And that's what's happening with deer at home is that's a ZF transmission. Mm. So they have a deal with ZF that our mechanics don't touch those. Those can only be worked on by ZF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ZF for anybody in the English speaking world. ZF, <laughs> ZF, ZF. ZF. Yeah. yeah, ZF. I think they call it ZF over there, but I yeah, yeah. there's the D, you know, ZF. No, this one only farmer's. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, but so ZF and or ZF and John Deere have an agreement that they won't touch those transmissions. Yeah. Yeah. So those transmissions have to come out and then they go through the exchange program. Well, I don't like the exchange program because you don't know what you're gonna get. Mm. So, if you don't know, you can't buy a brand new transmission to put in there. They won't sell you a brand new, off the, the line transmission. Really? No, they won't. They flat out refuse to sell me one. So what are you gonna do then? Well, you gotta send it to the refresh program, the rebuild program. So you, you either take your tractor to John Deere, John Deere will pull it out, or you do what I do and tear it out anyway. Yeah, take you it take it out, and then you, you send it to John Deere, and then John Deere says, we can't do that because we can't touch that transmission because you took it out. Right. So John Deere wouldn't even touch it. So then I found a guy by the name of Burkholder, Burkholder Equipment. He's in Fleetwood, Pennsylvania. And he's like, hey, yeah, I, got to, I can get those parts. Mm -hmm. So he came over here. He's got a guy over here, and it came through uh, as Deutz parts, because Deutz yeah, uses yeah, them in their yeah, tractors. Yeah, yeah. You know, Deutz and Lamborghini, yeah. same, or Sam, or whatever Sammy, you call yeah. them. So, they're the same tractors. So, he could buy the new clutch housings and pieces like that from here and have them shipped over there, and then they could put them back together That's again. $36,000 for that, re that remand transmission from John Deere. Right, thirty-six thousand dollars for that thing. I it cost me. I was going to do the work. Yeah. But he he kind of talked me out. He says, "Look, he says I know who you are. I know who you are. And this is a Mennonite guy. I oh, mean, really? yeah. yeah, Mennonite. He's a horse and buggy guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. But he watches YouTube. Yeah. And he has a computer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's it's like man, I don't think the bishop knows about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, anyways, he's like, look, he said. There's a reason those clutch plates failed. There's a reason. Yeah. He says, you may take it all apart, put the new clutch plates mm -hmm. in, put it all back together again, and not go find again. the reason. Yeah, go again. Right. And it, he says, you might last 2,000 hours, you might last 5,000 hours, you might not even last 500 hours. He says, why don't you let us do it? He says, it's, we're not, we don't charge like thousands of dollars to do this work. 
Well, it would have been five thousand, six thousand dollars to do the clutches. Yeah. All right. So that would have been, I think he said about four or five thousand, forty five hundred, okay. five thousand dollars for the clutches. Yeah. yeah. He said, and then any of the other bits and pieces that we need to, or bits and bobs, the pieces that you'd have to put together. Mm. He says those would be extra. Yeah. I was like, all right, whatever. He says in our labor, he said we could probably do it for under two thousand dollars, labor wise. Okay. That's, That's reasonable. Fair enough, I'm like. You're not going to mess around for Sure, that. have at it. So I said, well, I'm going to put it all back together. He says, don't worry. Don't even worry about it. Bring it to us broke apart. Yeah. Like, Because oh, I had it apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, put it in the truck, put it in an old truck tire. Yeah. And then hauled it off. They came and they took it off with a telehandler. and Wooden wheel telehandler. Yeah. 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 And steel. Oh, sti- that's steel. Steel wheels. Steel wheel. Yeah, there were steel wheels with rubber. Full with, Yeah, full steel wheels with rubber I don't know, rubber bushings in the side of it so that it takes the shock yeah, out. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I think I got pictures of it. It's crazy. <laughs> but uh, so he takes it off, and they put all the clutch plates in, and they start putting it all back together, mm-hmm. and they never did find a problem. Like, we don't know really why until they got it all back together. Yeah. And they started putting the, there's a center shaft, the the output shaft, the yeah. one that goes yeah. out the yeah, front yeah, of the yeah. transfer. They start sliding that in, and he felt a catch. Okay. He thought, well, that's weird. So they pushed it in and then went to pull it back out again and it hung. It hung on it. So he thought, all right, there's something wrong inside. So he had to take all of it all apart again. Yeah. To replace the shaft that all of the clutch packs and everything go on to. Because inside, the output shaft has seven sealing rings in it. Okay. So those seven sealing rings, one of them had seized. He says it could have been from a piece of dirt yep. or something like that. Yep. He said it seized and it scored the inside so it wasn't sealing. He said, so when you were going from forward and reverse in yep. those between C1 and whatever, these yep. different clutch bags, yep. he says it was slipping because it wasn't getting the right amount of oil yep. to cool it. So. That's what burned your clutch plates out. So they tore all that off, and he had a used one on the shelf that was in good shape. He said there was nothing wrong with it, so we put that in. So the labor was still under two thousand dollars, but then they had to put that shaft in, and they charge you half of what's new. Yeah. And I was like, well, how do you know a half a new is if you can't even order these parts? He says, well, we got it from Deutz, the guy yeah, at Deutz. Yeah, he yeah, could yeah, buy them. Could like, buy oh, them. Okay. okay. You know, so whatever. Anyways, by the time it was done, it was about nine thousand bucks. So under ten thousand. So they would have charged you thirty six thousand. That would have Down just been the exchange. Unit. Then you've got you got to have them fit it. Twelve thousand oh, dollars for John Deere better. to put it We're in. Getting Ooh, it this week it up to the fifty so grand. The, well, well, that's what the problem. Well, here's the problem with it. It's like okay, so you go to you go to Mother Deer and you say, hey, look, I've got a tractor. It's it's got this transmission problem. They're going to want to run diagnostics yeah. on it. You know, they're going to hook their little computer up and they're going to say. Hmm. Looks like we got a problem in C1, mm-hmm. and you know it'll take them half a day to do that crap. So they're going to charge you for all that, and then the tear down is one thing because yeah. they're going to tear it down. Mm-hmm. You can't exchange unless they tear mm-hmm. it down. So they tear it down, sits in their shop for however long, and then they wait for the new one to come in, and they put it all together. It would have been about twelve thousand dollars worth of labor. So you, you basically you got no change out of fifty grand. No, that's the long and short. Yeah. Yeah. They want you to take that tractor. Yeah. And sell it, trade it in on a new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So fifty thousand dollars, or we could put you in this brand new. But that's you know we have this with as I've said with the with the trucks, the pickup trucks. We've got this uh, engineered obsolescence. Yeah, yeah. So, Absolutely. And then you go so that me like with my Amarok. My Amarok's now done two hundred and twenty-eight thousand miles. And I've done one or two little bits to it, but it's still the same truck. Yeah, yeah. engine the same. They're trying to. Um, but when there was one or two issues with that, uh, that's when they want. An average person to go along the dealer, oh, I've got a problem. This this light has come up. Mm. Well, you see, you know, you've got an injector problem, and you can't just do one. You've got to do all four. Yeah. And I think retail, they were like retail they, for the dealer, like four hundred head piece, yeah, right? Yeah. So you want you've got to do, well. Let's see. Then we got like you're not going to get much change out of two. Oh, two thousand. Yeah. But this is your lucky day because yeah. guess what? If you give us a deposit of X amount, we can get you back in the hamster wheel this afternoon in a brand new one. We'll just PDI yeah. and you're away again. Yeah, they got you in it. yeah. exactly. And it's the same thing. They, they, just, folk into they it, yeah. want fifty grand. Will not be in front. What would you give me as a trade? That's got to be the next yeah, question, yeah, yeah. isn't it? If yeah. you had no option. Yeah. Well, isn't it nice to go get something new? 
Mm. I mean, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Man, I got this piece of junk. It's going to cost me $50,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What well, if it goes yeah. wrong again? You know, yeah. There's yeah, always, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. But they're going to give me what it's going to, you know, they're going to give me more than what it's going to cost me by yes. now. They're going to yeah. give me an extra $20,000. But then you know now I got to spend a you know a new tractor that size. You're looking at three hundred thousand oh, yeah. dollars. There's stupid money. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. all right. So I paid when I bought that in sixteen. I paid yeah. eighty. I think I paid eighty three thousand U S for it. Yeah. 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 which wasn't bad. No. You know, but so that, was, that was a seventy five thirty sixty two ten. But so the seventy five thirty. But the sixty two ten R with the loader, I paid one hundred twenty five thousand yeah, for yeah. it. So one hundred twenty. Yeah, but that tractor's three hundred thousand dollars. I I priced one. It was a sixty two fifteen with yeah. with the John Deere loader. Yeah. It was just over three hundred thousand dollars. Is it? And yeah. I didn't even have with the tire size because yeah. I like the big. Yes, I like the big European size tires. Yeah, yeah. You know, what do I want these little eighteen port no. four forty two tires on? I never really got that. No. you know, in the U.S. Well, we've talked about tires. Yeah, it's for yeah. running. It's for running rows. Row crops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because they they call them. <laughs> Like the big ones, you know, this is a row crop. We're like, that's not a fucking yeah, row no. crop, you know. But that's just the difference. They do run down a big plant of rows, don't yeah. they? Yeah, they do. So an eighteen four will run down a thirty inch row really yeah, easy. Yeah. Twenty point eight, eh? But you like the you like the seven tens and stuff oh, yeah. like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, seven ten seventies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like six eighty forty twos or whatever the heck is on that eighty yeah. five thirty. That yeah, the mass of they're tires. Big, they're yeah. big on that. So, yeah. all right. That's where I say a lot of people <coughs> found you was on was on uh, you know you doing that rebuild of, of the forty nine sixty, but how up to that point because I can't remember the year that was done. How long had you been on YouTube? What what actually got you? What, what point? Because you've been on how many years now YouTube? I started in two thousand and eight. You're the OG, really. You are the farming OG. Yeah. There's yeah. only one guy, and he still posts. Right. That's been on longer than me. Yeah. And that's Northern Farmer AB. So Tyson, right. he's Tyson. at. He, was he, he on not? Because I. He is. So the problem with. I didn't know that. Tyson started sooner. He was in like 2007, but there was years that he didn't do anything. Oh, I see. So right. there was a yeah, huge yeah, yeah. gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so he started in 07. I started in 08. I really didn't ramp up until 2009. Mm. Uh, but he wasn't doing anything really back again until. 11 12. okay so there okay. was a there's quite a gap and he yeah. only had a few videos up anyway yeah. that weren't hardly well, worth yeah, watching you know uh, yeah yeah well, you, you know, he had lose, something with a sawmill and, yeah and, but people lose yeah. interest if you don't post regularly you know, well, exactly but, so, so what was the initial yeah, you why? know why did you start you know putting on youtube in the first place okay we actually discussed the guy that <laughs> i was watching david's farm <laughs> okay, so Dave, the pedophile. Yeah, David. So everybody watched David. Is that a Ford. euphemism? This, no, he was. Oh, was he? Well, he no, was. No, really? Oh, Mike, yeah, the guy was the other night, I mean, you know, the other night in, the, in the restaurant. We were talking yeah. about. He, there was a massive scandal about oh, it. Was it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're not yeah. sure whether he went to jail. He claims he didn't go to jail for okay. the last twelve years because <laughs> he's back on. David Brock is okay. his name now. Oh, yeah. okay. That's the same guy. He's just fat and old now. Okay. You know, but he doesn't do what he used to do. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't, yeah nothing wrong yeah. with that. But no, I remember, yeah, so... So, I was watching this guy, and he was fixing, uh, he was fixing, like, the, the thing that really got me going is, like, he's just fixing these old junk cars. And school buses. And school, yeah, school <laughs> buses. And bulldozers, you know, yeah, and yeah. things like that. He just did all this weird stuff. And he did other weird stuff that yeah. I wouldn't agree with, but yeah. we all used everybody Hence watched used the school bus. Yeah, 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 the school bus. Yeah, yeah. But and the catnip, which we're not sure yeah, whether that was marijuana cat, yeah. or not, but it was catnip. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, so he, I'm watching him. He's doing this. I'm like, I do this stuff every day. Every day. What's I mean, special about he, that? He he's, he blew something up, and I was like, oh, that's not how I would do it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So you know, so I was like, you know, I said to my girlfriend at the time. I said, you know, I'm going to go buy a camera. She's like, what are you going to do with a camera? I said, I'm going to. You'll see. I'm later going tonight. to start yeah, yeah. making YouTube movies. Movies. So we make movies. Yeah. yeah. So together. Two years before. No, she was not. <laughs> she was. She is on there still. There. She, she? You'll see yeah. my yeah. ex-girlfriend yeah. on there. But years ago. Yeah. So anyway, she's like, you're going to put yourself on YouTube. I said, yeah. 
She says, well, remember two years ago when I signed you up for Facebook and you were freaking out because your information was out there? Yeah. I was like, yeah, because it wasn't me putting my information yeah, out yeah, there. There's a difference. Yeah. You know, so it was kind of an argument, but whatever. I went and I bought this this Sony Handycam, mm -hmm. Clicky the camera. Yeah, yeah. And click, click, click. No, that wasn't Clicky. That was another one. That was a rattly one. But anyways, and that's what I started with. And, and that was in 2009. They were... I had a small little camera in 2008 that I did stuff with my kids. Yeah. You know, I was just the kids doing stupid yeah, yeah, crap. And you yeah. put it up. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I think you said Kim did. You're just a few, That's a right. couple of videos. A couple of videos. I just yeah, yeah. It used to be like, actually, do you know what? Uh, somebody might find this of interest. It's almost like a yeah, diary. Yeah. That's how yeah. a lot of people started right. using it. It's a like log. a diary. Yeah. Like a video log. 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 That's all it was. Right. And I'm not going to do it regular. I'll just put, I'll, uh, this is my channel, and I'll just popular like you would stick something in a scrapbook yeah, yeah. it was that that sort of thing yeah yeah but there was no money involved no when no, i no. started there no. was no ads there was no, no. monetization no. david rock or david's farm he was like one of the first to get monetized and he made some of those checks were pretty substantial. Really? Yeah. Oh, in the early days, they were getting twenty, thirty thousand dollars in a month. Yeah, there were some checks they should have carried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. But uh, yeah, so I mean, when you started, there was money. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I think there's, I th there's money. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah well, I said that for about two years. I didn't want to. I didn't yeah. realize there was money. Yeah, you didn't. He well, didn't. Two, yeah. didn't. No, no, first two he years, didn't I didn't. Really? He didn't know. No. Uh, well. When, I, when I started person, seriously posting about a video a week, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was serious. We're going to do this oh, yeah, big yeah. time. There was some monetization going on. I think Chucky 2009. That's right, yeah. He was on it. He well, was just a kid. His cheese slid right off his crack. Oh, it? his cheese slid off and melted. <laughs> that did, didn't it? I mean, some that, problems that just there. just crumbled, didn't it? Oh, God. Yeah, and it's a shame, too, but eh, it is what it is. But, um, I mean, yeah, so, yeah, Chuck, the way we say Chucky 9000 or whatever. Ch Chucky 2009. 2009 or whatever yeah. he was. Right. Um, yeah, because I, I did watch some of his stuff, and I was like, Hey, guys, so we're back here again. And, you know, it's just like, fuck, I got <laughs> it. Kid. Yeah, and, and then he would just be welding shit up really badly. And, you know, people used to say, Oh, you want to see this guy? He repairs anything. And I looked at him, and I thought, When's this guy coming on? Because this <laughs> guy, you know, this is, I mean, seriously, I mean, like I said, I can get stuff to stick with a welder, and I don't have stuff break. We call that bird shit. He did. He started to break. He'd weld it and it'd break again. Right. You know, it's just like... Well, did you watch him build that abomination of a tractor? That, that V8... Uh, <coughs> oh, I did. Formal I just, yeah, I saw that, yeah. I was like, oh my God. Now, he needed 10 acres to turn that thing around. Yeah. It just... He's like... <laughs> and he's got shaft here, jack shaft there to go over here to come back there. Yeah. But, <coughs> but that's the... You know, that's, the beauty, George and I have said this constantly, it's the beauty of YouTube, you know, not everyone's going to like you, and that's fair, we, mm. give a I'm okay with that, yeah, I'm okay with that, yeah. so is George, yeah, yeah, we yeah. do, and quite often, when you look a bit deeper, and you know, because there's ways and means, but when you look in and find out a bit more about the people, you think, do you know what, you, you definitely are someone I would want nothing to do with, mm. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean, so, um, but that's the thing, you if you don't you like somebody, just turn off. Yeah, you can watch something else. There's something else. There's something. But they won't. No, they. they I have obsessed. special. I have special trolls. Do you have trolls? Yeah. Oh, I, I used to, but now I just fucking straight he off. He just got special needs yeah. followers. Now. <laughs> I got. Oh, yeah, I've so got a bunch the, of those too. Yeah. You know, and but that's fine. You know, they're still tuning in and hitting the like it's, button, so it's, it's good. Fun, <laughs> it's funny though. It's yeah. funny because you know we'll get across it, so we'll get we'll get. An audience that will only watch me and won't watch George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll yeah. get those that will watch both of us on Talking Point. You'll get those that will watch only us on Talking po Point. Won't watch George's channel or my just watch Talking Point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And which is like what yeah. you know. And then you'll get George's followers, which yeah, that is like having a ride on the short bus. <laughs> but, um, you know, no, but they and they're different. You think well, they'll be the same? They're not the same, yeah, yeah. are they? That's that's they're, they're, they're not the same. That mucker, yeah. that son of a bitch was talking about. It. <laughs> yeah, and if anyone does get butt hurt by that comment. I'm talking about you. <laughs> no, 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 it's yeah. not you. I swear. Yeah. But that is that is it, though. You know, there's, there's always something for, for everyone. And whether right. they like your content or your personality <laughs> or a mixture of the both, that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know. Right. 
But there, there's some special needs ones out there that just love to. They try to make a name for themselves, don't they? We, I mean, we've all seen them. Oh, that's right. They're um, funny. Yeah, where they'll just, uh, you know, they'll just come and say, oh, no, that's not the way to do that. You know, you're an idiot. Yeah, do it this way or whatever. And but they've like, got, you know. You, you're like, what? You've obviously never done it. You've just sat right. there, you know, obviously with your, your bib and dribbling down the front and sort of thinking, yeah. if I was doing that in a in a parallel universe, I would do it this way. It's just like, oh, I'm going to write that comment. Now, don't step away from the keyboard. Mm. But no, they don't. They right. tap away. But honestly, the, with the troll thing, and this is crap. I've always said it. If somebody like looks at your channel and thinks, like, Chuck it, right? <coughs> your welding, mate, was crap, right? Right. It was crap. I never commented on it. Guess what I just did? Yeah. I never used to watch much of his stuff after that. Right, no. Because guess, that's it. I don't go on there, your welding is right. shite. Yeah. You know, it's just like, mate, it's you like just carry on. You yeah. shit better welds yeah. than that thing. If yeah, I no. don't, and you'll always find, it, if somebody could engage and say, look, that's not the best, mate. You could do it like this. They will do it like they will yeah, tell yeah. you nicely. Take they it will on board. Yeah. yeah, but they don't. As soon as somebody starts, oh, you've done that wrong, or your channel shit, or I don't like this. There's only two reasons they do that. A, complete and utter, one hundred percent. They want attention. Right. Yeah. Nobody in the real world, away from the keyboard, they they get ignored. Right. Because guess what? They're the same guy who stood at the end of the bar, given all the traps. As soon as everybody comes in, they just turn around and go straight back out when they see they're there. There's mm. that person, right? Yeah, yeah. right? And then the second one is <laughs> that it's just jealousy. Right. There is no other reason. There is no other, because like I said, you don't waste your time on people that, well, you know. There's a guy I watch and he's like, he, and he came to my house. He, he lives in the Philippines from New York. Picked him up in New York. He comes out. Michael Fazio. Michael Fazio, he's a unique individual. Yeah. Unique. Not everybody will get him. Sometimes I wonder why I watch, but I do like Michael Fazio. But he says, look, he says, when a troll comes on your channel, they start talking shit like, oh, you don't know how to do this. What are you, what are you, what are you doing that way for? You should be doing this. Yeah. Or, you know, when I was doing that, he says, first thing you do, he says, is you read the comment, then you click on their... Yeah, channel yeah. see what and see what content they have there. yeah 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 he says when they're in 99.99 percent of the time nothing. there's not one nothing. video nothing he says then you look at the comments because you don't see every comment see what they're subscribed to that's another clue to right who yeah. You're dealing yes with. Yeah. yeah you'll see what they're Just subscribed to but normally subscribe to that's right. yeah, yeah. Or, you know. yeah. but there's a there's a place Please. in there and i don't i can't tell you how to navigate to it but you can click on that and it'll tell you all the comments yes, that they've made yeah. Yeah, on right. the yeah. channel. Yeah, yeah. So what these guys will do is you'll have a new video that comes out today. But you'll see, like, earlier that day, he commented on a video you did 10 years ago. That's right. Mm. And their comment, and those are so back so far, that you're you never going to see them. No. Yeah. yeah, you're never going to see them unless you're looking for these comments. But... You know, a 10 year old video that people are still commenting on, great, excellent, because it just brings it up the algorithm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. so I don't get rid of trolls. I don't know. You guys get rid of, you, you block them? Oh, I, I do, yeah. You do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, no. just do it. Now, you'll get, I, I because they're, as I said, the 99% of them are looking for attention. Right. In the early days, I, I would I would just oh give, you would run them right up now you? it's just yeah I would just uh, I said you want to take a, you know <laughs> have a go at this oh okay yeah. I'll, I'll make sure you get attention I'll yeah. give you so much fucking attention you'll wish you you know hadn't even been noticed right and like now occasionally you know, what I normally do if you get a prick comment they never even got on the channel because obviously you got the filters on there and yeah. whatever yeah. so that'll go out you know I've got people that will obviously be looking through the comments for me and if they just crap if they if they add like. There's nothing wrong with, hey, mucker. Um, yeah, now when I did that, I did it a different way. That's great. Right. That's brilliant. Yeah, constructive, like, but, yeah, yeah. constructive criticism. Oh my yeah. God, what a fucking idiot. You, I wouldn't have done it that way. What has that brought to the. So, okay, yeah. how would you have done it? Absolutely nothing. Okay, and they'll they'll just literally just delete and get rid of them. Mm, they just okay. fire them out. Right. But occasionally, there'll be one or two like, oh, that's really fucking rubbish. I wouldn't. And I'm just like, you, you want some attention well let's let's drag you up let's give you that Skip platform <laughs> and I just fucking rinse them and yeah. you know what I love doing it and I know it's a horrible <laughs> trait but I, I just too. love rinsing them I really do because too. do you know what these people are trolls and I know and this is not even a percent a hundred percent not even eighty percent they're all as thick as 
fucking shit. Yeah. Because you know what, the clever guys, as I said, they're just the ones that go, oh, I wouldn't have done that. And they just pass on. Because yeah. they don't have the time in the no, day to worry about it. They'll just go and find something else. Mm. The ones that hang in there, I want to tell you that I want to be no. I'd have done that. Thick as shit. Yeah. My favourite you know? is, I can't stand you, you're an asshole, I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> The next day or the next video, <laughs> there they are. Like, the I know, but I've yeah, followed yeah. you for so many years. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, it's like you're still around. And I said this, that there was one guy who says, Attention. you're going to lose all your subscribers for this. There was a video I did, and it was kind of offensive because, you know, sometimes I can be that way. And it was, I'm watching the, you know, the subscribers thing that goes, <sighs> like, yeah. crash. I lost yeah. like 150 subscribers over that one video. I can't remember what it was, yeah. but... Even if I did, I probably shouldn't mention yeah, it. Yeah, probably, probably. So it. anyway, <coughs> like, the next day, it's like... <laughs> it's like 200 back. Damn it! I can't <laughs> stay away from it! No, it had to but be they, there. Yeah, and that's just it, though. They, they honestly bring absolutely nothing. And as I said, they are the same people in real life right. that no one can stand. No one wants to talk to. No one wants to talk to them. And it is every <coughs> single time. And the other thing is, you know, in the circles I, I mix in, well friends that have access because if you're on the internet you always leave a footprint right yeah, however always. whether you go through this way or that <coughs> you always leave a footprint mm. and you know sometimes it's just interesting to find out who these people are yeah. you just think what is his problem right. and also and the next day it comes back and you're like you're kidding me my god you know right. and it is literally an absolute fucking low life for it you know uh has had this issue or <laughs> that issue and whatever they're, they're all like that however I'm fortunate I'm fortunate because in the eight odd years I've been doing this um, my subscribers my followers be on it on YouTube or Instagram and I keep saying this and I'll say it again I will say it again I have got some of the best subs and followers and I mean that by being the most loyal and intellect the intelligence of my and, and people always say that, I mean, I've, people I know have got 1.4 million followers or you know 600,000 they'll say right. mate you know you, you, nice to see your channel went, but but my fuck, I wish I could have your followers mm. as in the intellect right. and, and the yeah. knowledge base right. and I, you know what I don't care about the numbers of subs because that's only a number that ain't where it's at it's <coughs> the comments the quality of the comments it is, you it read is. my comment section they're all as they, they're, they're just bang on loyal they, they, they would go to war for you <laughs> And the second thing is the, the experience and, and knowledge base that comes through from these guys mm. and girls that yeah. follow my channel. It's amazing. And we, George and I share a lot of them as well. We've got yeah. a lot that follow us both, you know, right. for a common thing. But then there's some interesting guys on yours, ways. Oh, there are. There, you know. I have learned a lot from my subscribers. Yeah. I probably don't give them enough credit, yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's... It, it'll be a simple comment, <clears throat> just a simple comment, like, hey, you know, this, 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 or this, and it's like, you know what? That's, That's a good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The deer repellent that I use. Yes, yeah, yeah. That was from a comment. Yes. Really? And I'm like, this yeah. guy makes a comment. He says, oh, so-and-so's been using this, and they say that it works. Yeah. So I go, and I look at it, and I'm like, what? All right, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. six hundred and fifty dollars yeah. a tub. Yeah, yeah. So that tub, at the low rate, only does fifty-five acres. Yeah, at six hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah. So I'm like, you do the math real quick. A yeah, bushel of soybeans, you know, at the low rate, two bushels of beans is what you really want to spend on it. Yeah. Double the rate. So, <clears throat> sixteen ounces over eight and a half or whatever, seventeen ounces. It worked, and that was a comment. Yeah. Now I yeah. don't know who commented it. Yeah. yeah. I but never went comment? back and looked. But I got that. And you can uh, research it. Yeah. Just, so there's a lot of that that, you know, and if I don't know, I Google. I, I oh, mean, yeah, I yeah, Google yeah. or DuckDuckGo or whatever. But, but That's like as well, though, like, with obviously some of the videos that like I do, I'll do like with the, the Will It Starts, especially with the Matador stuff, you get another audience. You get what I call the day trippers. You've got, I've always got my hardcore following. Right. And then you'll get those that are shown the video or um, you know they're recommended it or that's on put on for another forum or something and you get day trippers that have only got an interest in that specific yeah, yeah. the matadors being the one because you, you know th there's a lot of great guys with that there's a lot of fucking idiots and you'll get stuff like ah well if that engine had been seized I'd have used this special thing what you need to do is like you get acetone and you get oh. PB blast and you wet that's like listen 
I want to do this video. It took us two days to film, right? That was enough, because normally we wouldn't have filmed it. Secondly, I haven't got 30 fucking years to mess around with one vehicle, because that's how long it would take. Oh, you want to use, that's the other one. You want to use Coke. Listen, I've done all this, right? Believe me, I've done it. I had an engine, a six cylinder engine. I took the head off so I could see the pistons and I filled that for three weeks with Coke. I used about eight Coca -Cola. liters of Coca-Cola. Because they reckon, you know how you put a penny in yeah, and that yeah. cleans up? Well, it does the same. And I, I did, because I had nothing to, you know, I was in a hurry for it. I filled them and they kept, they kept getting, some of it was going away down the side yeah. of the bore. So fair enough. I did that with eight liters over about three, four weeks. I'd have been better off buying a bottle of fucking rum and opening a bar. Right. The amount of good that did. <laughs> no, I don't. Do you know what I mean? Work, and they yeah. give it all this. Ah, you should use it. You should. It's just like honestly, take your grandma's old piss recipe, right, and fuck off with it. Yeah. Because we need to get this done. Now, when we did it, we just put in like oil and diesel. Right. Because if it broke free, which which surprisingly it did. I was actually hoping to see the fucking crank snap or a con rod bend, mm. just for dramatic effect, because we could have put another engine, but it broke free. But if as it breaks free, the only reason we use that is to let, if some does get by, at least that isn't running dry. Right. Yeah. It just gives it a little bit of yeah, lift. That's the only reason. Yeah. But oh, I've used this special recipe which I've had to hand it down from general, and it worked on it. What engine was Was that a big six cylinder diesel? No, it was a, uh, a, a four horsepower Briggs and Stratton. Right, not being funny, mate. And thank you for playing, but fuck off and let the adults carry on yeah. here. Because, you know, I appreciate it, but I. Yeah. So you get that. Right. Or you'll get, yeah, well, what you want to use, like, oh, we're not even going to go into my ether rant. We won't go there. But you'll get, yeah, you don't want to use ether. You want to use WD40. Have you done it? What? Well, I was on a forum and some other guy said he knew somebody that used to walk his mother's dog and he had an engine <laughs> that a bloke had an ev their engine like his one and he knew somebody that actually used to walk somebody <laughs> else's dog and he used WD-40 to start. Just like yeah. 19th hat and bloody you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. advice. So you get all that. But, you know, on the whole, some of the stuff, as you say, you do get these little tips. Right. And you're like, ah, I'm going to give that a go. Mm. You know, and, and that's great. But other people can say, that's the nice thing, other people can say, you can share that. Yeah. You right. know. Um, so. But I've seen a guy heat a piston up with a torch. Well, I did. Yeah. Well, that's how we, in the end, what yeah, I did. Yeah, you so, put oil down in there, you let it soak for a couple of days. And I did all that, that yeah. yeah. And what I did then is I emptied all the coke out, <laughs> put all the oil in there <laughs> for a couple of days more yeah. just to get that through. Then emptied that out, and I put petrol, gasoline. I put filled them right. all up with a mix of gas and petrol. Right, right. Um, gas and petrol. Mix of a gas and diesel right. with a bit of engine oil. Not a lot. Right. And I set fire to each one. Right. I let it burn, and it burnt out. Burnt for about five or six minutes. Yeah. I did the same again. Right. And then when that burnt out, I got a piece of three by two timber yeah. and a sledgehammer. Tap tap on that one. Tap tap. And next yeah. thing you know, it started to move. Yeah. And that was it. Yep. just so we could get the pistons out right you know that's what the bit of heat in the block got yeah. away from the from yeah. the piston you see right um now that sort of thing you know and you get these old boys as well you know and they're the ones that have done stuff that's been forgotten now mm. what we used to do boy we used to do this we used to do that and again some of them <laughs> you're like whatever you know, but a lot of old boys, they've got old methods they used in the middle of nowhere. You yeah. know, well, when we were stuck on the, you know, in the oil patch and we had nothing, what we did, we used to do this and you do that and that works. Yeah. Have you got any, uh, have you got any more plans on coming back to the UK then, Wes? Well, yeah. Uh, we'll be back. There's a lot more to see, isn't there? There is. There, there, yeah. It just needs to stop raining. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. It's, fu you know, it's <laughs> funny though, whenever, whenever Americans come over here, to be fair, it's always fucking raining. Yeah. Yeah. And it is. It is. Whereas, I guarantee you'll you'll fly out. That was something. Come out with that. Always yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's like when I came to see the summer we had last right. year. Man, that was just ma uh, mad. Wasn't it, it was hot. It was dry really for a week. Hot. Just like not to touch yeah, for yeah. weeks of well, wait, any. Still, that's the same thing. Yeah. I think it's the same. Now, not to sound like I'm real worldly, but I traveled to Missouri. Yeah. Dry. Yeah. My my the only place that really had it decent was Wisconsin. Yes. But you get out farther to yeah. the Dakotas. My mom and dad were out there. 
the beans only ever got that tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wheat, Welkers were farming. That's right. They were they? cutting wheat at yeah. 12, 15 bushels to the acre. Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, oh, I'd just VT that in and yeah, yeah, just yeah. call it a loss. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. the fuel and the wear and tear on that mm. equipment must just destroy that. But there's no money left at, at the end of it. Down at the eastern shore, drought. Yeah. 54 days, not a stitch of rain. Yeah. 54 days, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Then I get down to North Carolina where I bailed the straw, went down and visited with those farmers down there. He got 50 bushel corn. 50 mm. bushel corn, that was yeah. all they could get out of any of it. I mean, the it is so dry. The amount of fires. Oh, right. yeah. Just, well, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. This well, air, you know, it is. Well, it is. That was yeah. it, wasn't it? And but there was, was, yeah, there was no end of other fires that day. Had that happened, normally, it would have been, there would still been talk about it. But now it's just like, yeah, because you had a fire, did you, George? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did every other bugger. Exactly, yeah. It was, yeah. That, it was you just know? normal. Yeah. It, was not, it, was, it was something right. else. Mm. Well, something we were else. in it, like with her, uh, with that fire on the bay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. dry. I mean, you could see in the video, I was exhausted trying to put that thing out. And, of course, the fire company shows up. Well, we'll just, you know, get the hose out of the truck and bullshit and talk. The fucking baler's smoking. Yeah. My wife just spent, I don't know how long, beating a fire out. And they're just down. like, well, it's ruined anyway, so what does it matter? No, well, it isn't ruined. No, get over it. Just yeah. get it out. And then the guy had the nerve to tell me, oh, don't clean the baler off. We need to conserve the water for the fire. It's like, if you when you got here... If they had just drove along the outside edge of that, you could have had it out like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, no, they had to wait until it got into the fence rows yeah. and burn two more fields. Yeah, and yeah. They made a mess out of it. And that one guy I was talking to, he says, yeah, they just like to see things burn. But you, your fire crews, they oh, did they a yeah, 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 job. Yeah. They were working. Oh, they were really cracking on everything. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, they were like going from one fire to the next yeah, to the next. Right. And uh, yeah, there was four or five engines turned up, and some smaller ones as well, yeah. and they just cracked on with it, didn't they? Yeah, you know? uh, frightening times. Yeah, frightening yeah. times. But well, yeah, you know, I mean, well, I'll well, I'll probably be over to see you before you come back and see us. But yeah, I don't see. Know. This is my downtime. That's right. So you know, a summer thing. As we get a. I don't want to say I'm going to get away from the mulch hay business, no. but I'm downsizing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to give me more time. Yeah, and it, the funny thing is with grain, you say what you want about grain, hay farmers, hay farmers work hard. Oh, they do. We, we yeah, work, yeah. Really, we oh, work really yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah. The grain farmers, yeah, they work hard from, you know, just yeah. say the last yeah. week of April yeah, yeah, yeah. till the second week of June, what is the, the Indianapolis yeah. 500 That's is, right. or yeah, whatever that is. Yeah. You know, they'll work till then. And then it's like off to the lake, and they drink beer and ride around yeah, yeah, yeah. in their boats and shit. Resistible. Maybe go and do some recovery spraying and stuff. Do some, but and they're not all like that. And then it's they're off for the summer. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. Well, if I could just get that get the row crops situated and, and get the of course the hay yeah. the hay done at a reasonable time, a time, then it yeah. could give me a week in the middle of the summer. Yeah, it would yeah. be a whole lot nicer to come here in the summer. Oh, yeah. Just because really? there's things, and you can see on. things on. You could see harvest here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is it. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, I would yeah. love to climb up in a combine and just yeah. say, "Hey, I'm, hey, I'm in England." Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cutting weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be a blast. So that's what we do. Get where's here harvest time. Yeah. So what we'll do. We'll ta yeah. take you around. The, well, you know, my end, George's, everywhere. We'll take you mm. around places. You know, right. We do as we do a bit of a whistle stop tour that you've done this week. And we've travelled some miles this week. Yeah. And, right. You know, but uh, yeah, well. Absolutely. I didn't ever think, George, when we started this podcast, we'd actually have Wes with us, actually, as a, as a guest. Did no, you? it didn't cross my mind. No, seriously, <laughs> did. I just thought it'd be, uh, that was me and Saul. Yeah, as usual. Yeah. I, I always knew I was going to be a guest on this one. I saw the first one. Yeah, I think I sent one of them. You did. You said to me, I'm going to be a guest on this one. When you were coming over, it was like, no, you are. You are on there. And he's like, yeah, of course I am. So, yeah, well, thank you, Wes, for, you know, because. What people don't realise is that you know it, you know it's just a well half an hour. Wes is going to be packing and going and gone and down to the airport and heading back overnight. Yeah, right. yeah. So it's the flight. We've timed this right. Um, but like I said, it's been oh, it's just been amazing having you here with us, yeah, yeah. like with Lammer and everything, Wes. Yeah. Um, and I think yeah, you've seen some stuff we certainly have. Yeah, yeah. It's nice, as I said, to look as well at different different ways of doing things yeah, that's what we sort of yeah. take from this all mm. you know that just because dad did it don't mean yeah. that you need to carry that on yeah. not always the best way um, but like I say 
if you've been living under a rock and you are not aware of one lonely farmer check them out on youtube yeah um but if to be fair if you're not aware of them you probably haven't got internet and you're probably not even watching this no um yeah. but yeah Good whereas day. it's been brilliant it has um i'll say i'll, I'll be over and we'll come and see you and uh, we'll look at that field uh that was yeah, I bet that's it's, it's going to get harvested. We're definitely going to cut it. We're going to cut that. That was week. brilliant. That and, is brilliant. You know, the twenty-five foot header will sing right through it, mm -hmm. and we're not even. Good. You know, a lot of guys will cut it right to the ground. We're yeah. not. We're cutting this. Yeah, leave it. Some, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to leave it, and we're going to yeah. VT one shot VT lay it flat. Yep. Okay. That's what we want to do. Yeah. Well, again, depending on the time of the year and when I can get over, you know, I'd be, be able to film some of that as well. You know, right. and, uh, at least and show some of my audience or whatever because I'm sure this has sparked a lot of uh, interest because mm. it isn't it's not the general way you do it's things it's not the dumb thing is it inverted commas it makes so much sense yeah makes so much sense so uh, now we appreciate your time um, now George and I are going to try <laughs> we'll just we're going to try and be a bit more regular with these podcasts, mm. aren't we, George? We are going to try. I think we can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we can. Yeah. And we're in a roll. New year and all that. Yeah. New year, new us. New year, so yeah. we, this will be the last yeah, one until yeah. probably August. Um, <laughs> no, we won't. We are going to do it. No, we're we're going to try. We, yeah. We'd like to get one of these podcasts per month, yeah. at least, when we start as the yeah, plan. Yeah, so that's the aim, isn't So it? that's the whole point of kicking this first one off of 2023 with, with Wes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Wes. Um, so, anyway, like I say, Watch Wes and what he gets up to because there's always something going on with you. Yeah, you might learn something. Yeah. yeah, we got some corn planter rebuilds going on. Uh, what the heck else? Oh, no talking, obviously. Just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just oh, two, no, set, just two minute video. Just uh, this is the corn plant that's broken, and here it is fixed. Just thank you all. all. Right. See you on the yeah, next yeah, one. There's yeah. no reason why. I yeah, just, I'm just, I just yeah, 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 yeah. But now you've got a lot of stuff going on, right. and um, yeah, as I said, it's always, it's always something of interest because I think that's the best thing about YouTube is. Not watching what you do every day, watching what other people do. Yeah, what someone else right. do. Yeah. And the diversity of it. There's so many and again, if you if you like what some one person does, you may not like what somebody no, else no. does. But we do have a variety. You've got a variety. Yeah, I've got a variety. George has got George a, George a variety. variety. Yeah. I was never more excited when it's, there's a fire and I'm like, Oh my <laughs> god, George. <laughs> <You know? laughs> It's the Vatra! <laughs> yeah. And I was like, holy oh, no, shit! That was, yeah, that was awful. I was like, that was oh, terrible. God. And Teresa's like, what's a Vatra? She's like, it's a Vatra. <laughs> yeah, it's a Vatra. It's a smoldering thing. Yeah. It was bad. That was, that was a shame. Mm -hmm. That was oh, a yeah. shame. Yeah, that was. Uh, that was and the but insurance never covers all of it. That's no, the problem. No. No. But it's not, you know, the good thing being everyone was safe. Yeah. Because it's right. so right. easy. Right. It, that's, yeah. Only when you see a video like that, you realise when you go, yeah, well, what I'd do is I would just, mate, did you see how quick that moved? And then like people like, that was going quicker than I could have run. Mm, right. Like, yeah, that's the reality that is of the it. Danger, yeah, yeah. That's the reality yeah, of it. Yeah. So yeah, once that fuel catches or that oh, plastic yeah. tank, that's what that's my pet peeve with yeah, plastic, plastic tanks. Tank. Plastic yeah, tank. Yeah, What's yeah. that plastic yeah. tank? You know, he might take much does it look, you know, to get a hold in there, you know. Right. I mean, just the heat of the fire, you could be running along it. Yeah, yeah. And that tank just keeps it's a blast well, tank, yeah, I yeah, Possibly what you can have, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. You know, and just all of a sudden, the, the, it bubbles if it's yeah. full of fuel. You hit a bump and bang, it's and gone. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, game yeah. over, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So it's, it goes yeah. bad. It goes bad quick. Very quick. Very quick. But anyway, look, we wish you a safe yeah. journey home, Wes. We do. And uh, like I said, I'm, I bet a lot of people have been really sort of glad to be able to you know, have this sort of a chat with you because it's you know, just different being on somebody else's ch sort right. of chat. Because yeah, 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 yeah. you can, you know, you're not having to. I'm going to move this camera now and I've got to, you know what I mean yeah. so uh, yeah so thank you very much um, as I said George and I will be uh, you know hoping to do these a bit more regular but until then uh, yeah just look after yourselves and we'll we'll catch you on the next one won't yeah. we yeah there it is brilliant there it is and, and that's, that's the, a wrap that's, that's a wrap, wrap. Yeah. Roll, roll a cola what was that what it? this is brought to you by roll a cola <laughs> famous for being flat and out of business for 23 years. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, roller cola. <laughs> I was talking about roller cola. Oh, that's brilliant.